Radioisotopes are the unstable form of an element that emit radiation to transform into a more stable form. Radiation is easily traceable and can cause changes in the substance it falls upon. Nuclear medicine uses radiation to provide diagnostic information about the functioning of a person's specific organs, or to treat them. Diagnostic procedures using radioisotopes are now routine. A more recent development is positron emission tomography PET, which is a more precise and sophisticated technique using isotopes produced in a cyclotron. A positron emitting radionuclide is introduced, usually by injection, and accumulates in the target tissue. PET's most important clinical role is in oncology, with fluorine 18 as the tracer, since it has proven to be the most accurate non-invasive method of detecting and evaluating most cancers. As it decays it emits a positron, which promptly combines with a nearby electron resulting in the simultaneous emission of two identifiable gamma rays in opposite directions. These are detected by a PET camera and give very precise indications of their origin. The most common radioisotope used in diagnosis is technetium-99, with some 40 million procedures per year, accounting for about 80% of all nuclear medicine procedures worldwide. Technetium is obtained from molybdenum in different ways. There are three ways to produce molybdenum-99. The most common and effective method is by fission of uranium in a target foil, followed by chemical separation of the molybdenum. A second method is neutron activation, where molybdenum-98 in target material captures a neutron. This is done in power reactors, usually RBMK or CANDU. A third method is by proton bombardment of molybdenum in an accelerator. The IAEA helps member states to achieve self-sufficiency in the production of radioisotopes and radiopharmaceuticals, strengthen quality assurance practices and regulatory compliances.